Wow, fresh pancakes. Look at there. Mary made me some fresh pancakes and some bacon. I'll just put some maple syrup on there and I'm all all out of maple syrup. Jug's totally empty. Good thing I know where I can go get some fresh maple syrup. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Wow, it's a wonderful morning. The sun's not up. The sun won't be up for almost an hour. It's not too cold. I'm in the car. I got lots of coffee. I brought three mugs of coffee with me. I'm off for a bit of a drive out in the country. It's just wonderful to start out in the dark in the city and wind up with the sun coming up just as you're pulling into the country. What a beautiful day. Starting out so good, and I've got an exciting day ahead of me. I'm really looking forward to what's going to be happening today. I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'll be doing something totally different for me. I'm at the farm, and what a beautiful farm it is. Some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life live here. I've got some wonderful animals, chickens, geese, puppies, and best trained horses. Talk about an autonomous vehicle. These horses know what they're doing. They're sure-footed through the mud, over rocks, and just dragging us along here. I didn't yet, no. Just pulling us that's along. That's be interesting. Just like that's what they're meant to do. We're riding in a sort of a chariot kind of thing with about 24-inch steel wheels. It's a bone-jattering ride, let me tell you, coming along through here. It's not too bad when you're going over the mud, but if it's frozen ground or there's rocks and stumps and Whoa. things, it really shakes you up quite a bit. What the fellows are doing, they're pulling the spigots out of the trees and boring it out one sixteenth over, just to get the sap flowing a little bit faster. They've got about 4,000 buckets out in the field here. And they're going around with the horses, draining the sap from the sap buckets into the vehicle that we're driving in. This thing is amazing. It's got tracks on it, if you can believe it. A horse-drawn vehicle with tracks doesn't sink into the mud. Look how the dog stays with the horses never ceases to amaze me how well these animals work. They don't seem to mind it either. They're so well trained they know when to stop and when to go. Henry has to give him a little whistle or a nod once in a while, maybe a woe. Here they're picking up speed to go up the hill here. They know they need to go a little faster to get up the hill. Patience is the key to this. Drip by drip by drip into 4,000 buckets. Wow. You can see the trees reflected. Here's a really old tree with a few buckets on it. You can see that's the vehicle that Henry and I rode out on. See the wheels there? That's a really rough ride. I've been out in the woods a few times with these horses. One time they pulled me out of the bush. I had my Volvo stuck in the woods and Henry had these team of horses to pull me out of the mud. I wish I had that on video, but I was all by myself. The dog and the horses get along just great. can see the path crisscrosses through the woods and the fellas know I was confused but they know exactly where to go which buckets they've cleaned and which ones they haven't we just go along picking up the sap putting it into the vehicle look at the dogs having fun here they're just great they don't get ahead or they don't run away they stick around and they seem to really like the horses too that's just great quite a system. They carry this pail and fill it up, dumping the sap into that one and then pouring it into this big tank. 
Now we started getting some ice and frost in there at one point. It started to be some of the sop was frozen coming out of the buckets. I don't mind telling you, I got pretty cold here. I was steaming up and down the hills here. I was out of breath. I could hear myself. I had my backpack on and I was carrying my camera and the ground is pretty uneven. But I was just having so much fun setting up these shots. You know, there's the horses going past the sap buckets and thinking about things. I was always looking for an interesting shot finding this stump in the foreground and having the horses walk past it. You can see the track on the vehicle there. I don't have any idea how much that uh, thing weighs, but the horses can pull it without any effort at all. Again, the dogs getting along with the horses, it's just amazing. I think the horses were following the dogs there and that's not what we're going to do. We're going to come up here. I guess the dogs were off cue there a little bit. It just amazes me. Everybody's working like a team. They all know what to do. They've been using this track vehicle for the past six years or so, I asked. If it had just wheels on, it would sink into the mud. And if it had runners, it would be way more difficult for the horses to pull. This is a different team here, an all-black team. The fellow warned me when I was standing on the back to those horses that they might move quickly. Look at this hill. They're just parked right on that hill and away they go. Look at that. They just take off and gone up the hill. I was really impressed with the traction they have. These are heavy horses and they've got great big hoofs to dig into the dirt. <laughs> the dogs love the kids too. It's just great. Oh, the horses are moving. Time to get going. Now, I'm getting pretty darn cold right about now. It was a chilly day. Now, this is one of the concessions to modern equipment. The syrup gets pumped by a gasoline-powered pump up into the tank. Here. It started to snow a bit. The snow is building up on the horses and they're staying together to keep warm. Now I'm taking a little bit of a break now. The fellows are lighting the fire and I was glad to see that. Glad to think about getting warm for a change. Been out for several hours. This is not an airtight stove, but it burns really, really hot. The pails are ready there for the syrup. There's a filter cloth on every top of them. You can see the steam coming off here. It's pretty much of a manual process here, visual inspection. The steam rose up and it was actually condensing on the roof and walls of the building dropping down a little bit like rain inside. I was surprised at that. Look at the fire going here. It's just starting to get going now. You can see there's quite a grate on the bottom to let lots of air in. And the chimney is, I think it's 50 feet high. I can't remember. I think so. Because it's depending on the height of the the depth of the stove and the height of the chimney governs how hot it is. The sap is running in here now and it's dropping over these cooling pipes. The steam actually runs through those pipes and the sap coming in cold 
condenses the steam inside the pipes and the water, and it preheats the sack going into the boiling tank. It's a really good use of energy. Wow, it's starting to snow quite a bit now. This is one of my favorite clips of the horses coming along with the snow. I think it's just beautiful seeing these horses. This is a craft that's passed on from father to son for generations. I don't know how long they've had this sugar shack out in the woods, but it's pretty amazing. You can see the steam. I'm inside the building now. I'm finally getting warm. Look at all that steam coming out the top. They open these flaps and let the steam out. Horses are out there. Something I just remembered, they told me they take the handles off of the unit so the raccoons don't come in and drain the sap out of the unit. They were having a problem with raccoons getting in and draining the tanks. Some of these beams are from a hundred year old barn that he's throwing in there. He put a leather apron on now. You can see the door is glowing red. It's red hot. And I watched the doors as they were open for a time. They went from red to black. You see that? It's a totally manual process. You can see here he's visually inspecting the density of the sap. It's turning from sap into syrup. Here it's reached the proper temperature and consistency. He's draining it out. I think this is an old milking machine. He's draining it out and he's going to pour it into the filters. There you go. This is a special filter cloth. It's like in the shape of a funnel that clips to the top of the milk cartons. Sap's boiling here. It's boiling through there and the steam is coming off. Look at that door. See how red hot that is? You watch it cool down over a space of seconds. It's going from red to not quite so red, finally to black. I was really impressed with that. The fellow's got this leather apron on to keep from getting burned. The fire's really going hot now. Making a little adjustment to one of the leveling machines. dripping through the filters now. Wow, look at there. Took a little longer than I thought, but now I've got some great fresh maple syrup to put on my pancakes. I just can't wait to try this. Wow, look at that. That looks really good to me. Let's see. Mmm. Wow. Now that's great. That was worth the effort. It was a nice drive, too.